As a miniature computer, the BBC Micropit can perform a variety of tasks, taking in information and controlling outputs. Ideas about inputs and outputs are extremely useful. They help you think about a task and plan the program of instructions. As you look at a micro bit, the LED screen is very clearly an output, which your program can control by showing images and messages. As inputs, the two buttons enable you to send signals to the micro bit, which can be used by the program. Insight Mr. Bit represents these inputs and outputs in colour-coded boxes like this. Blue input, pink output. We can design a program for the input to control the output with a green control module. The program script is shown in the top panel. Here is a simple example of using the buttons for inputting information. Every time you press a button, the signal is counted by the program and the result is displayed on the LED screen. Button A increases the count by 1, whilst button B reduces it. The buttons are the simplest example of an input, but there is a wide choice of alternatives. For example, the micro bit has a built-in microphone for detecting sound. Instead of counting button presses, we can count sharp sounds like clapping. Or we could count shadows. The microbit LEDs can detect light. If we look at the back of the microbit, we can see a number of built-in sensors. There's the microphone. And here's an accelerometer for measuring movement and a sensor for magnetic fields. Let's see those working. Here's the accelerometer switching on an animation when the microbit stands upright. Here it detects when the microbit is shaken. Each shake is programmed to give a random image just like a die. The magnetometer can detect when a magnet gets close. There are many more types of input available in Mr. Bit. You can choose from this menu. Most of the extra inputs are external sensors which you can connect to the micro bit using the sockets or pins at the bottom edge. Here's a simple temperature sensor connected to the micro bit. The program shows the reading on the LED screen. Now a simple light sensor. This time the program shows the value as a bar graph. Next, a sensor mounted on the front of this robot buggy. It measures the distance from an object that reflects ultrasonic pulses. Here it is used with a program that makes the buggy keep a constant distance from the object. Notice that this example introduces a different type of output from what we have used so far. The program is controlling two motors as outputs. Again, there is a good choice of external devices that can be used as outputs, and this menu shows the alternatives. As with inputs, you connect external output devices to the micro bit using the sockets or pins at the bottom edge. Let's see a selection of devices for outputs. Here are some external LEDs simulating a Pelican crossing control. This strip of multicolored pixel LEDs shows all the colors of the spectrum scrolling left then right. The buzzer here emits just one tone. The program makes it beep like the BBC radio time signal. 
On the back of the microbit there is a miniature speaker which can produce sounds and music. You can also send the music to an external speaker. The Mr. Bit Music Editor enables you to create and edit the code needed to play a tune. Here is a temperature sensor controlling a motor which works a fan. When the temperature gets too high, the program switches on the fan. Here, a servo motor allows you to control the movement of a car park barrier to a precise angle. A button controls the entry barrier, whilst a touch sensor controls the exit. Here is the complete control system and program script. Finally, here are two microbits sending messages to each other by radio waves. Each microbit transmits a radio signal as an output and can receive a radio signal as an input. The display shows the control program for the microbit on the left. The right hand microbit has the same program but it cannot be shown at the same time. You have now seen a variety of inputs and outputs and the programs that use input signals to control output devices. This simple pattern can be found over and over again in computer programs. Spotting inputs and outputs in sometimes complex programs is useful for helping you understand how they work. Have a look back at the programs shown in this video. Finally, look out for other Mr. Bit videos that explain how to build programs in plain English.